Unemployment has increased significantly. The Central Statistical Office released the Labor Force Bulletin for the second quarter of 2016. It showed the unemployment rate increasing from 3.8% in the first quarter to 4.4% in the second quarter. There were 640,900 people making up the labor force at the end of the second quarter of 2016, but the survey data showed there were 5,400 more people without jobs in the quarter under review. When compared to the corresponding quarter in 2015, the data showed a decrease of 16,200 or 2.6% of the total number of employed people. From a gender perspective, the number of employed males decreased by 700 or 0.2%, while the number of employed females decreased by 4,700 or 1.8%. And joining us on the line is economist Dr. Ronald Ramkisun. Good evening, Dr. Ramkisun. Good evening. Now, the unemployment rate, it's jumped from 3.8 to 4.4%. How significant an increase is this? Well, it is significant to the extent that persons are looking for jobs and are without jobs. So that uh, it is of concern. It is not unexpected, however, in the context of a recessionary economy and uh, an economy in which businesses and government are seeking to, to, to control costs. Uh, and therefore, the fact that uh, the, the economy has not been growing, uh, it is not in the context of that, it is not surprising that we have been seeing the unemployment rate nudging up a bit since, I think it was at 3.2 in the second quarter of 2015 to now 4.4% overall. And with this phenomenon of a shrinking labor force, how is this likely to impact the economy, particularly in terms of productivity? Well, I think the impact is going to be uh, on uh, factors such as, such as poverty, uh, such as social issues. Really, uh, in respect of productivity, I don't know productivity is affected by so many other uh, larger factor, factors such as the, the road traffic and, and the difficulty in getting to work, etc. Uh, so that in itself or by itself is unlikely to impact productivity, but it says something about the standard of living of uh, some of those in, in the society as a result of being out of work. Now, Dr. Ramkisun, the data also seems to suggest there are more unemployed women than men. So how do you explain this trend? Yeah, well, that has been a phenomenon that we have been seeing for quite a while. And uh, in the context of uh, uh, households headed by women, uh, to the extent that there are a number of dependents uh, in those households, uh, we uh, are going to witness increasing pressures and therefore an increase in the need uh, for support of those who unfortunately would fall into that bracket. Thank you very much, economist Dr. Ronald Ramkisun. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us on the increased uh, unemployment rate.